This is the first best look at the new Endurance. These are pictures from the latest trade show. Look at this video is going to show the slow opening tailgate. There are many more to follow. This is very exciting. What a great looking truck this is. Let's get this video going. Okay, this is brought to you by Foxconn CDMS and Lordstown. And look at the easy open tailgate. And mind the side steps to get into the bed on the bumper. Now watch this. There's also close assist on the tailgate. Very nice, having worked with trucks before. This is the front right quarter. Um, great looking wheels. Um, you know, the truck takes a different appearance with a monochrome paint color. There's your front charge port and front tow hooks and full snow plow accessibility by the way this can have a snow plow hook to it the f-150 cannot there's a picture of the wheel with the hub motor behind that great looking wheel okay this is a look at the bed cap which looks great really completes the look of the truck notice the tilted solar panels on the roof undoubtedly providing extra power uh, for use on site there's a side access door on that bed as well and looks like a lighting fixture towards the front here's a side view what a great addition to this truck look how fantastic and practical that is now we're moving into a fitted out bed here with the bed tray look at that that slides out of course and gives you access to everything in the truck here again the fitted out bed look at the accessories look at the uh, utility that's in this truck again this is the alternate side view of that bed cap what a great looking truck with that bed cap on it those striped details really look great with that now we've got to look at the side the fit and finish is just perfect on the truck there Let's take another look here at another view of the side. Again, just perfect fit and finish. Look at the finish on that truck. I will tell you, that is world class. Now we're going to the interior. Now this is a wide shot of the interior. I love the interior of the Endurance. It's not overly high tech. It's great. There's our center console. Very utilitarian. Very nice and wide for my elbow again another look at the cab notice the carpeting the ford f-150 pro does not have carpeting nor any of the other amenities that are shown here vinyl seats not the cloth seats shown here here's the inside of the door very practical storage unit at the bottom notice the uh, rockers for electric windows and so forth now here's a rear seat now look at the under seat storage we haven't been pointing this out and notice again the carpeting again with the seat down look at the legroom look at the plush carpeting what a great comfortable looking seat that is now we're moving on again another look at the door panels from the inside now we have a detailed look here at the rear quarter of the truck and i think that is an attractive truck I cannot tell you uh, how impressed I am with the way the truck looks. And again, here's a side view. The fit and finish is just fantastic on this truck. Look how clean all those lines are. Now we're moving on. I want to point out this is a carbon fiber bed. I do believe not a bed insert. This also is not available in the Ford Pro. Okay. Again, same thing we've got our outlets and there are multiple outlets in the bed area on this truck um, again carbon fiber let's say composite bed composite bed saves weight this is a couple thousand dollar option included with the truck and again you see uh, the tie downs available inside pre-installed in the truck making these very easy what a great looking bed there. Now again, the tow package and the tow hitch is a standard item on the Endurance. This is not an add-on, which it is on the Ford F-150 Lightning. 
again the fit and finish the look of the lights there the look of the the detailing looks fantastic again storage under both rear seats again carpeting look how plush that interior is this is a retail vehicle um, again look at the leg room look at the look at the shoulder room look how comfortable those cloth seats look and I personally like cloth seats another look at the inside door panel very practical storage um, and a great look I would add too. here's a close look at the dash again the steering wheel has your cruise control and volume and uh, change media station type stuff on it also we've got manual controls for the heating and air conditioning by the way this truck does have a heat pump unlike the Ford Pro which uses radiant heating because that show photo uh, didn't have a lit up dash panel I wanted to include these still photographs from Electrica I believe the article was you can see here what the lit dash will look like there's three different sections there the left is the basic information uh, the middle is the drivetrain information and battery information including how much power is going to each wheel and the right is the Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay which will be included in the final truck and uh, it's a relatively low tech cab which I think is great I think back there you saw the uh, manual heater and air conditioning controls which you can use with gloves on while you're driving you don't have to take your eyes off the road of course the screen is touch screen and it is it has a variable display on it you can see some of the various displays there I just wanted to do that dashboard justice I think it's great great interior moving on look at the seat and again, these are manual seats. I prefer manual seats, but that is a comfortable chair there. That is a comfortable captain's chair there for the driver. Again, another look at the door panel with the full window controls, electronic controls. This is a full featured vehicle. This is not a stripped down vehicle. And again, take a look at how attractive those lines are and what a quality fit and finish there is on that truck. And I just want to say what a great look the truck has. Those alloy, flat alloy wheels, the lines uh, of uh, the design of the truck, the black trim components, you know, no chrome. Uh, I think uh, people are just underestimating how attractive uh, this truck is. I love the way the stance of the truck is. If you notice, because of the hub motors, it is lower to the ground than a lot of other trucks. I just want to say what a great looking vehicle that is. I just am so impressed. Here's our headlight uh, assemblies. And again, with the fit and finish, look at that. Our frunk with an outlet. I believe there uh, may be another outlet. But that is, of course, a waterproof frunk. There we go. Looks like one outlet. Sorry, I believe that's 10 cubic feet. And again, we have a charging point up front. There it is under that lightning bolt logo. Also, all your fluid access. I think this is a great looking truck, people. I cannot tell you how impressed I am. Now, this is a placard uh, next to the truck, obviously, going over all the details. And I think we all want to get these would be the show details and I believe the final version details of course always open a revision of the endurance let me just read this the endurance is an all-electric pickup truck designed to optimize critical vehicle capabilities optimize traction and maneuverability that's four-wheel drive true four-wheel drive independent motors hub motors at each wheel uh, torque vectoring traction control automatic stability control okay this is the most sophisticated drivetrain on the market today it makes the ford lightning look like a go-kart optimized safety i want to tell you that uh, this truck is uh, five stars all the way across the board safety rating and that includes front rear side and rollover protection 
Now, I just want to tell you about the Ford F-150 Lightning. It does not have safety ratings. Most of it is not safety rated. According to the NHTSA posting for it, they have, uh, now that may be that that frame has already been tested and uh, rated. However, I want to compare two uh, ratings between the Endurance and the Ford Lightning, and I believe this is critical. The Endurance has a five-star rollover rating. The Ford F-150 has a four. The Ford Lightning has a four. You have to remember that there is a 9,000-pound battery, I believe, in the Ford Lightning. Okay? It's got a four rollover. The uh, and I just want to put this out there. This is you can look this up. The Ford F-150 has had class action suits against them for rollover injuries. That's in the ICE version of the truck. That is without the 9,000 pound battery in it. The Endurance is far and away a safer vehicle with a five star rollover rating. You you cannot get a safer vehicle essentially in a pickup truck now we have optimized value i just want to go over a few of the things we've got you know the standard four-wheel drive we've got the standard tow package including the hitch and the extra cooling required for towing uh, we've got carpeting uh, we've got a fully finished out cab there is no scrimping on any of the uh, features in this cab this is really a retail vehicle i think anyone in america i look at this truck i'd say man i would like to have one right now um, as well i think one of the things that uh, people are overlooking is the composite bed uh, that will not rust it will not dent unlike the aluminum bed in the lightning um, the Endurance comes in one configuration at one price. Um, unlike the Ford Lightning, which has so many permutations and combinations, who even knows what it's for, uh, what it's selling for? We don't know. Uh, we know that the uh, price of the Ford Pro is going up, 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 and the availability is non-existent. Let me just go through this list of specs on the side. Of this uh, graphic uh, four wheel four in wheel hub motors all wheel drive true four wheel drive and this is f1 style propulsion they have used this four wheel you can check my videos the mclaren i believe uh, f1 racer is now using uh, this hub hub wheel drive system so this is for handling a smaller turning radius, uh, emergency reactions, you just cannot get better than this drive system as well. Snow, ice, I'm sure you've all seen the videos of this truck on a frozen lake driving as if it's on asphalt. Let's just move forward here. 550 peak horsepower, 440 nominal power. Uh, 4,970 foot-pounds of torque, 118 mile top speed, and I want to mention that this is governed, okay, governed for fleet use. There is a higher top speed. I believe uh, the, you can see some of my old videos. They had this truck running on a closed racetrack at some uh, much higher speeds because, again, this drive system is a sports car drive system this torque vectoring four-wheel drive i mean it's the most sophisticated uh, porsches and audis and uh, you name it mclaren uh, th this is f1 technology anyway moving forward again that is governed 118 miles uh, any consumer version would have a higher top end uh, 6.3 seconds zero to 60 again this is governed much faster in a consumer version. Uh, we've got the fuel eco economy of 48 miles per gallon E. Uh, we've got the EPA estimated range at 174 miles. Now, 
I just want to say one thing about the EPA range, and I'm no engineer and I'm no expert, and don't quote me on this and do your own DD. This truck, uh, the hub motors go from power to regen every millisecond. There's 30% more regen with the endurance system, hub motor system, than a regular uh, E-Drive as you would have in a, for example, uh, Lightning. Now, when they test these mileage figures, to the best of my understanding, again, don't quote me, they do it on a, uh, they strap it in and have it on a dyno. So you're not going to get the re uh, regen uh, readings from that. Uh, there's no torque vectoring going on and so forth. So I am of the suspicion that that might be a little higher in actual use. I think they may be sandbagging that a bit. Uh, to meet, and uh, you know, I'm sure it's an honest figure under those testing configurations. I think it's going to be much more in practical use. Lithium ion battery, 109 kilowatts, uh, charging uh, 150 kilowatts, 20 to 80 percent, 45 minutes. You look at the charge time on the uh, Ford Lightning, uh, it's you know, much higher than that. Uh, Level 2 charging, 20 to 80%, 6.5 hours, okay? Uh, curb weight is 6,450. The max payload is 1,050. Uh, max uh, towing is 8,000. Um, uh, I'm trying to see what this... Uh, I believe the max gross weight is 7,500. And the... Let's just see if I can get a better view of this. The curb weight is 6,450. The max payload is 1050. Max conventional trailer weight is 8,000. The max, again, let me get this in here higher and closer. The max gross curb weight is 15,000 pounds. 20 inch, uh, Wheels with tire pressure monitoring on all tires. Again, full featured truck, four wheel ABS and disc braking system. Now I would add that there's a number of, uh, there is a bed lighting system in this truck. Uh, there's uh, an entertainment system in this truck and a whole lot of other features as well. But uh, that is the fleet version of the Endurance. And I think that um, uh, this is a great value. The, the, the price quoted is 65 k uh, It does qualify, as I understand it, the ever-changing IRA rebate, 7,500 rebate. Now, you've got to understand, as a fleet vehicle, this is most likely to be leased. As I understand it, under the IRA rules, as they are right now, all electric vehicle leases qualify for the tax credit. So for a company to uh, lease these trucks, they're guaranteed uh, the $7,500 tax credit, which brings that price down to $58K per vehicle. And that is for a four-wheel drive, uh, full cab, uh, pickup truck with all these options in it and I do believe that that is right in line right now with what the average ICE pickup truck pretty much is selling for but you got to understand fleets are going to uh, right off the bat no oil changes what four oil changes a year 200 bucks a, uh, uh, an oil change that's that's $800 they're saving right off the bat. You know, they have 10 of the trucks, uh, you know, that's eight grand, so on and so forth. Do the math. But um, I do believe this truck represents the best value available. In my mind, this is, if you want to compare feature to feature uh, and look and feel to look and feel, I think this is right up there with the Ford Lariat. Uh, Lightning Lariat, which is, oh, you know, what, ten to ten to fifteen thousand dollars more than this vehicle. Anyway, this is the fleet version. 
Uh, I think it's a great vehicle. I, uh, I'm going to close this out now. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd just like to congratulate everybody at Lordstown Motors for getting a wonderful truck out in spite of all the headwinds they faced. And also Foxconn for this production value, uh, quality on this vehicle. There's a black lifted uh, Endurance. That's in the parking lot at Lordstown Motors. Whose is that? It's somebody's. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think this is just a great demonstration of what a wonderful vehicle this is. Good luck in the market. This is MXUX.